Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And today I'm bringing you a new deck that I am calling Whack. Uh, and it is revolving around this Marowak here. Marowak has 120 HP, 1 energy, bone throw, 30 damage, 30 to the bench, and then 2 energy, boundless power, and it does 120, but you can't attack during the next turn. Why? Why am I building a deck around this? Because Cubone. Cubone has an ability, Cheering Bone. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, attacks used by your Marowak do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, we can have three Cubone on the bench. One is in the active, evolved into Marowak, right? That's the goal. So let's take a look, another look at Marowak's attacks. Single energy doing... 120 damage plus 30 to the bench two energy doing 290 damage but can't attack next turn okay i like this a lot more however we still have one major issue here and it's the hp 120 is just so low so what can we do about that well we are playing radiant gardevoir so if we're playing against a pokemon b they'll take 20 less damage. Okay, that's not bad. Next up, we've got Lake Acruity. All Pokemon that have Fighting Energy, or Water, but Fighting Energy attached take 20 less damage from attacks from the opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so that's a total of negative 40. And then we've got Rock Chestplate. The Fighting Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. So that's 70. So that... 120 HP is effectively 190 HP against Pokemon V. 170 HP against EXs and single prizes. That's quite a big difference in my opinion. And that should hopefully give us enough to have Marowak stick around a little bit longer. Um, in partnership with Marowak, we've got Lucario. Now, I used to play... Uh, uh, Hariyama and what's the pre-evolution starts with Makuhita Makuhita and Hariyama Hariyama has an ability where your Pokemon take 10 less damage I was just all about the less damage let's try to take as little damage as possible well Hariyama being a stage 2 was a bit clumsy with it also only being 10 damage less it just wasn't worth it so I've swapped Hariyama out for Lucario. Lucario has a single energy attack where if any of your fighting Pokemon were knocked down by damage from an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does 120 more. So that's 150 for a single energy from Lucario, and I think that is fantastic. Also, that buys us a turn, right? It buys us a turn to try to recover our Cubone, get a Marowak down, and try to just recombine the Marowak combo. So Lucario coming in with 150 is huge. Um, the last Pokemon that we have is one copy of Mew EX. And it's one copy because I, I, I need this deck to be fast. And adding a second copy would make it clumsy. Uh, just that slight bit that I'm not happy with, right? So we are using Mew EX for that restart ability where once per turn you can drop until you have three cards in hand. The Geonome hacking has actually come into play before. Um, I accidentally got Mew EX kind of set up. And Gnome G a Geonome hacking allowed it to use my opponent's attack which was insane. I was up against an RK9 EX and I had three fighting energy on Mew. I was able to use the big 250 attack that makes you discard two fire energy. I did not have fire energy, I had fighting energy. So the attack happened and I just didn't have to discard anything. It was brilliant, loved it. Mew EX, good in, good in a tough situation but we're really using it for the draw. We've got eight fighting energy in here we've got three ultra ball i had to lower this recently because i need some space for some other cards right uh i already mentioned the three lake crudy and the four rock chest plate we've got one copy of grant because grant means our po fighting pokemon do 30 more damage which means marowak can be doing 30 more with all those cubones we're looking at a lot more damage right um next up we've got two escape ropes because 
of that boundless power attack not being able to go again we need to get marowak out of the active and back in and that will allow us to do that um also sometimes we get pokemon stuck in the active and i just prefer escape rope over something like switch because it disrupts my opponent just that little bit we've got four copies of trekking shoes i know this is something that a lot of people think is cuttable um i'm not disagreeing with you except for the fact that if you want speed trekking shoes is how you get speed and that's what i'm going for we've got one copy of hisuian heavy ball to get our cubones out of the prizes three copies of iono i wish it was four but it is three um four copies of professor's research then two copies of clara i've been playing around with it being two clara or two su or two super rod or one clara one super rod. i i don't know i'm going with two clara and then i had to make space for two pal pads so i can recover clara and other borders because professor's research is such a harsh discard we need some recovery there and then we've got four copies of gutsy pickaxe that's how i accidentally set up Mew before but it can accelerate some energy and draw some cards, which is great. Four copies of Nest Balls to get our basics out, and two copies of Bosses or so we can get the KOs where we need to. And that's the deck. Let's go ahead and jump into Test Deck so we can show how this deck functions. Now, I have made some changes kind of last minute. I was in Test Deck in a video, and I was like, you know what? I'm just not happy with these tweaks. I made some more tweaks, and I really hope this is it. Um, it's just been like changing small numbers for the most part. I had uh, one Clara, one Super Rod, and I was like, you know what? No, two Clara is what I need because recovering the Marowak is important. The Clara also gets you energy and a Cubone. So like, yeah, that's what's important. All right, we are starting off with just Radiant Gardevoir. This is possibly our worst start in the deck. <laughs> if it was Mew, we could retreat out of it. If it was Riolu, at least it can do something, right? Um, but no. Gardevoir, we can't even use its psychic attack. It is just pointless being in the active. Uh, so I'm going to Professor's Research and hope for an escape rope, which my opponent just played. Come on. Ultra Ball. Another Growlithe. Yeah, I think that's what your deck needed, dude. Like, you don't need a hand. You need a second Growlithe. <laughs> The bot. Um, guys, just kind of Professor's Research. What do we get? We do get Mew. We get Cubone. We get quite a bit of stuff here. Let's go ahead and Nest Ball. Count everything. Okay, so there's a Riolu prize. That's good information to have. Um, we don't need to grab one with an Ultra Ball, though. Uh, but I can Nest Ball for a Cubone. And then I can Ultra Ball for a Cubone. And my hand will be empty. And then, guess what? Mew. Restart with Mew. Here we go. Draw three. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we get Rock Chest Plate. We get Lake Accrudy. I'm going to hold off on playing that for now and just end my turn. I don't want my opponent to uh, destroy my stadium by playing their own stadium sort of thing. So... Ooh, boss's orders could be fun. I can go ahead and evolve up that Lucario. I can play down like Accruity. Do I restart or do I boss then restart? I think I just restart because if I get a different support, I want to get out of this situation. Um, Clara, Clara can get us some stuff, some energy, a Marowak we had to discard. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll play that down. Um, do I? I think I'm going to wait. No. No, let's play it. One, two, three. There we go. Marowak's down. And then I'll just have my turn. All right. The big question on playing it then was the fact that our hand size would be three, where with Clara and Boss it was two. Um, yeah. Yeah. That stuff happens. I'm going to attach to the Radiant Gardevoir because next turn, maybe I just have to retreat, you know? Not the best thing in the world, but it's something. And right now, we've got nothing. So, you know, got to go with that. We top deck Gutsy Pickaxe. All right, what do we get? Trekking Shoes. Okay, let's just keep burning. Uh, I don't know. Ooh. I'm going to say no. I know that's dangerous. Probably against a person, I would say yes. But against the bot, they've only got one card in hand. So, let's go ahead. Attach that there. We will retreat to Marowak. Marowak is doing, what, 90, I believe? 
90, yes. So we can boss his orders up the uh, Growlithe here. That will give us one space to restart and draw a card. Ooh, Cuba, nice. Um, and we will bone throw, knocking out the Growlithe and doing 30 to this Charmander. Because we might be able to get a double KO next turn with Growlithe and Charmander. Uh, seems unlikely, but you never know what's going to happen. There's a Riolu. We got that out of the prizes. No need for Sui and Heavy Ball to grab that for us. All right. Rare candy. Oh, the Charizard. There it is. They top deck just beautifully, don't they? Jeez. Come on. Um, so I can attach a second energy that would do 180 KO the radiant, but is that good? <sighs> Instead I could do 90. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do the bone throw, uh, do 30 more damage to the Charizard on the bench. Oof. Um, because next turn, uh, let's say they attach a fire energy, they, uh, they attack Marowak. Uh, that's not happening. Cool. They're not getting a KO. I was going to say, maybe they get the KO on Marowak. I can put up a Cubone, play down a Cubone, evolve the Cubone, and attack and get the KO. Right? So, um, we just keep on going. Because if we play down this Marowak, we're going to run into issues. So, why would we play down the Marowak? Yep, we'll put another 90 there. That leaves them with, what, 60 HP remaining? 80 HP. Okay. But we get our second prize. And it's Lucario! All right. All right. I'm liking this so far. Well, our hand size is pretty big. And we don't have any fighting energy just sitting on the field. Which does make me concerned. But, you know, it happens sometimes. I could escape rope. And either one of those knockouts is more worthwhile than this growl lift. So let's do it. Escape rope. They put up the Charizard. Perfect. We put up the Mew so we can just free retreat back into the Marowak. And Bone Throw is going to get us a knockout on Charizard and then 30 damage on the Growlithe. We can't damage the Bidoof while it's on the bench. So that's why we're not going after that guy. Escape Rope again. Beautiful. I don't know what they could get next turn that would change much. Oh, another Bidoof. Okay. That doesn't change much. <laughs> Ooh, we get Clara. We can use that to recover some energy. No Pokemon in the discard. Makes me kind of hesitant to want to play it, but we do have those Pal Pads. So let's just go ahead, Escape Rope, force them put Bidoof in the active. We will KO the Bidoof, and we'll put 30 more damage on the Growlithe. So Bone Throw. 30 on the Growlithe. There we go. Okay. We'll grab another prize. Trekking Shoes. I was honestly kind of expecting this match to be a little bit more exciting than it currently is. But, uh, oh well. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah, next two KOs are pretty easy for us. Um, let's see, we can go Trekking Shoes. Yes, we'll take Trekking Shoes. So we'll play Trekking Shoes. Um, yes, we want the energy. All right, and I can throw that onto Lucario. And we will just go ahead and Bone Throw. Badoof being protected, but being our next KO. That is whack. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look at the deck. I hope you enjoy seeing how this plays, kind of the ridiculousness of it, but the consistency of it as well. You know, if Marowak ever went down, we had this Clara to recover and get Lucario to do 150, KOing whatever KO'd Marowak for the most part, and move forward with that, right? So, yeah. I enjoyed this. Well, it, it does nothing. <laughs> Even if you hit heads, it did nothing because we were just too prepared. Um, man, I could even play down all my Marowaks, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to KO this Bidoof. 
put 30 on this Growlithe and move on. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this deck as much as I have on the ladder, and I hope it leads to many victories for you. It's a fun one. It's a straightforward one, in my opinion, but also it's a bit tight on space. Because we want it to be so fast, uh, we need those trekking shoes. We need those gutsy pickaxes. I mean, if you can make the cut of those and still make it as fast, I'd love to see your list. If you got any ideas circling around this Cubone, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the rest of the week <clears throat> where I will be playing whack quite a bit. And be sure to check out the Discord where we have awesome deck builders and we're talking cards and all that stuff. Highly recommend it. And of course, until next time, Keep playing jank.